Charles here from Seymour, Indiana. Well, my wife and I are headed out to Colorado a week from today. So we're going to be going in and out of both doors a lot as we pack and just make sure we have everything ready. One thing that is easy for me to do is to make sure we have our power for the trip. And let me show you how that works. Well, my wife Susie and I converted this 2018 Ford Transit 250 medium roof, 148 wheelbase about a year and a half ago. It was a lot of fun. It's a mess right now because we really are packing because a week from today we're headed to Colorado for a 17-day trip. And so when you convert a van, you have a lot of things to think about. How am I going to wire? What kind of insulation am I going to use? You'll see most people do not do bed platforms like this with storage. Instead, they'll have a bed platform here and a big area here for as a garage and they can have their toys in there and then they typically have batteries that look like car batteries but they're lithium. lithium and charge controllers and inverters and all that. And that system works great. I chose to go another route. I used one of these Delta 1300s from EcoFlow with our mini camper that we had before we got the van. And then I contacted them and they became a corporate partner for our van build series on this channel. And so now I have two Delta 1300s and a Delta Max 2100 and a, a small little river mini just for portable use, take it into a restaurant or whatever. They work great, and how do we use them? Well, in the box here is a Blue Seas 12-volt fuse block. And what I have is this cord is wired to positive and negative, and I plug this into the outlet on any of these, and it feeds all of those things I mentioned, the puck lights, the 12-volt the fridge, uh, the USB ports, fan, everything. And that's how we run everything while we are camping. And so all these units can handle it just fine. Um, if we are driving and um, we can use this DC to DC charger, this wire goes up to a Victron DC to DC charger, a smart uh, controller one. And then the other option that we have is right here, and this is solar. So this, I don't really heavily depend on solar, but with the long stretches of driving we're going to do with the sun, if we need to trickle in some power, we can do that. So this is going through the wall via MC4 connectors to a 200 watt panel on the top. Soon I'm going to add a second 200 watt panel. So I have all these options. If we have shore power, I get these all charged up and then I don't use them. If we have shore power, I give these guys a rest. And instead, instead of plugging this into the back of any of these units, I plug it into this inverter, which is plugged into shore power in the outlet back here. And I run all the 12 volt and the outlets up front. Um, so either way, I'm, we're covered, even including a microwave and a coffee pot. Um, one of these Deltas fits in this box, and then the Delta Max and another Delta 13 reside in this second box. And so we've got a lot of power, and all the cords can reach into either box. And it's a system that's just worked really well. Um, EcoFlow da now has something, um, a power kit which is a self-contained unit that's got all the wiring and everything done for you. So I'll put a link about that. Um, but it's a different, it's, it's the same kind of idea, but they've, they've got a pre-packaged. You don't have to really know much of anything about wiring. So it's a great system, but it really wouldn't work since I've got this done. So this is an option. And some people get by with just one Delta 1300. So it just depends on your power needs and how uh, often you are have shore power available. So that's just a quick look at our power system. We're really happy with it and alleviates any stress altogether. Thanks for watching.